It's good to be here. Um, I'm glad we've got it off the ground. And uh, uh, you'll notice we've changed the name. And the reason for that is that the original name was, uh, was something that I'd concocted to, <coughs> to keep get the start of the ball rolling. But we've had our first meeting of the, the group yesterday. It went brilliantly. But uh, as part of the discussion, as we were forming our, uh, our work plans and developing the, the processes of governance, we decided that uh, a new name would be perhaps more appropriate. So we, we came up with a number of options, but the one we're using now is this Independent Scientific Committee on Drugs. So that's the name we will be um, known by. Uh, our remit is very much to look at drug harms, but also to include other aspects of of drug-related issues such as benefits, such as treatment. We didn't want to be just constrained by the issue of harms. We decided that uh, we will develop two or three work programs over the next three months. Uh, one will be on legal highs, one will be on assessing harms and developing more, uh, better, more appropriate, more uh, flexible ways of determining drug harms and particularly in comparison with other other harmful activities and also we want to focus on ketamine which is something that I was trying to do when I was on the ACMD because I have concerns about the possible dangers of the growing use of ketamine. We are going to focus on the science of drugs. Uh, as Les Iverson, who was the interim chair of the ACMD, said uh, earlier this week when it, his interim position was um, ratified, uh, the ACMD isn't a scientific body. It is a body made up of now um, drug treatment people, police, magistrates, etc. So, so the way I see it working is that we will do the science. And if the, the ACMD want to use our science, that would be great. And in fact, I can tell you I've had a very a supportive email from Les Iverson today saying he welcomes on the, the new committee and he's hoping we can work together. So I see sort of parallel developments. We will do the science and, and I guess they will do what they can do, which I suppose will be policy. This is the strongest grouping of scientists looking at <coughs> drugs that we have ever had in this country. In, so it's the first truly independent committee and as you already see, you know, we are extraordinarily impressive and we will grow, so we will become even stronger. What, what, this, what we, this committee will do is provide to you, both in your professional role and, and, and in your role as a, a member of the public and maybe even a parent, the truth about drugs, unfettered by any kind of political interference. And you've never had that opportunity, you've never had access to anything like that before. There was always pressure. There was al you cannot work in, a, in a, a body that is based in a government ministry without there being a degree of pressure. So a lot of it is covert, sometimes it's overt. Certainly I feel quite liberated now that I can say what I think without having to think what implication that might have for other people in the ministry. So I, you know, there is no, it, it, it wasn't particularly oppressive, but it was always there. There's, you, you know, you can't escape it. You know, there's an institutional view that you have to, to work with. And it, it's great to be completely independent. That's all I can say.